<laughs> All right, so where do we leave off at? If y'all don't shut up. <laughs> Yo, shut up. Yo, buzz. Family. Yo, I know what it is. I'm Mr. Family. Sure. If I want to meet a friend killer, you know, believe in a friend killer. Hey guys, welcome to the Raw Pillow Talk Podcast, where we discuss the real, the raw, uncut, and unapologetic version of ourselves. You know, that grow together friendship. Yeah. All right, so we're back with episode two, two. and we actually have a guest. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I say? Like, what do you... I'm Corey. Cokes, Coco, Cosmic Smokes, for people who don't mm-hmm. know. Um, I'm really excited to be here today. I'm excited to see the growth of this podcast. And yeah, we're gonna get lit. Just stay tuned for what's stay about tuned. to happen today. All right. So, um, you know, we're gonna start with the regular shit. We're gonna start with the mental health check-in. So how's everybody week been going? How have you been feeling mentally? Corey, you first. Oh. Special guest. Special right. Guest. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Honestly, this week has been a lot but well this week just started so last week was a lot it's been a blur i guess taking every day at a time but you know i got it i'm gonna push through i'm a gangster an emotional yeah, gangster like, like <laughs> um well for me last episode i said on a scale of the one to ten i was around a three but these past two weeks like what we said i've been taking stuff day by day trying to do new stuff that I haven't been doing, trying to get myself in a better situation than I was before. So today, I feel like um about like a five or six. So a couple oh, I of, love that. Two little five or six. I've been, you know, clapping oh, myself. Sure. Like, oh, yeah, I'm sign you. Off. <laughs> been smiling last couple of days and all that. Just trying to get back to my old happy self and peaceful. Other than that, I'm good. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna get up to that ten soon. Right. I'm at five or six, so yes. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> she go. Oh, let me shut up. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> um, this week for me, I don't know. I feel like y'all know the shit I've been through this week with losing my grandfather. So I kind of feel like I'm better than last week, but I'm still on that roller coaster where I get in my moments when I'm thinking about you know what happened to him and um. You know, just trying to get myself out of that dark place, if that makes sense. So I'm here. I'm living. So I can't complain about nothing else. But mentally, I'm still trying to go through the motions. One day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. Last week, I was at a two, my mental. I think this week, I'm... Like a two and a half. Girl, not the half. Uh, yeah, two and yeah, a half. Because half. I'm still going through. I have my dark moments. Um, but I still, every day, I got to remind myself I'm stronger than what's holding me down and what's, like, bounding me from progressing. So, yeah. I'll be at a three soon. <laughs> a, a three? That's right. That three is crazy. Um, so I guess we're just going to jump into the topic. So the topic for the episode today is Girl Code Spicy Edition. Spicy. It's going to get real oh, before, spicy. Can we start this? Can we take a shot? Right. Oh, yeah. wait. We ain't even. Hold on. Wait, hold hold on. on. We ain't popped the Let's bottle. This is for you. We ain't shot, popped shot, the bottle. Wait. Can I have some juice? <laughs> so we're going to get into it. Look at the chaser. It's this is a chaser. Sponsored by Tropicana. <laughs> <laughs> They gonna be like, um, raise. We gonna, we gonna get there. We gonna get there. What's that? Oh, we buy champagne. We need more bottles to pop out my eye. Don't pop out my eye. Ooh. Yes. 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 Um, you better drink this with your chest. <laughs> right. Put some hair on your chest. So let's talk. So how do we meet each other? 
Kiana and Diamond, you go first because you guys knew each other the longest. So first of all, Diamond, when did we meet? We met in like seven. No, we actually met six. Great, we started three. talking. Yeah, it was around six. Diamond, I'm telling you. Nah. She out of town. Diamond was rolling with the thugs, but she used to wear these um these red skinny jeans. <laughs> so you know. I know. Every color. You knew. <laughs> was was what? What? You I was knew when Shorty was coming color. through because she had them. Yellow. What is it? Purple. The what was Green. it? Red. The mango Everything. cherry lady. She had she had them jeans on. Yeah, that was back in the girly girl days. Right. Now. Right. She out in these streets with the hair on her chest, thugging, thugging for real. Right. She thugging. She sad. But yeah, we actually. Like, I think it was like yeah, around sixth grade. We started talking, and then we basically became real close friends best friends in our seventh grade and from there it just it just took off like with me and her we never got into no arguments never got into no fight nothing like that it was always everything like pure love like exactly nothing backstabbing nothing it was just straight pure friendship like that's <laughs> friendship so other than that yeah long time we were I but yeah middle school middle school and kiara we met in high school in gym in gym shorty was sitting behind me and she would not shut up some little lips some little lips they kept talking like it didn't make no sense that's how we met Everybody was new. It was a I, I, we was freshmen. Oh, yeah. We was all new. We didn't know each other. No, y'all knew some people. I didn't know anybody. Remember, I just came from Long Island, so I didn't That's know true. anybody. She was at a Valley all. girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we didn't know a lot of people from One Fifty Six. Definitely came to Van. That and other schools That's and stuff. Yeah. So y'all had yeah, people. So we had I didn't have nobody. So I was just talking to everybody. Like hey, she's from Long Island. Friend. She came from Long Island with white girls. Oh love, my god, love, love. I would never forget though when we had to, we was outside, we had to, um, who was our gym teacher? Was it Sheckman? Yes. Yes. And we was on the track and I was running and she was running behind me. She was like, wait for me. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> this girl don't give up. I'm like, she won't give up. Like, and now look at her. Right. She's sitting behind me. She's talking too much. She, she played invisible she track. She wanted track. that one friend. <laughs> she was not going to give up. Like, I was like, oh, I guess we gotta be friends. <laughs> Here we are now, years That's later. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. <laughs> I'm really... and I met Diamond through y'all, well, and Keontae. Look, freshman year, really. We it started like talking earlier. like tenth grade. The beginning, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like, Can yeah. I take a sip of this? Yeah. That's probably like a little high vibe. Right? Diamond used to bring up. me food every day. Yeah, you ate good <laughs> you every day. day. Spanish food and Kool Aid in a Pepsi bottle. <laughs> I ain't getting no food. Remember that time she took us to Applebee's? She took us to Applebee's? She took I all took of us to Applebee's. Took, she paid for all of us. Girl, like six of us. See, a, yes, on the app. She paid for all of the, us. Is the Applebee's still over there? I don't even know. I don't know. Um, no, they changed it to a super spot. Yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. And then I met Corey. But you guys who don't know, we're actually cousins. That's my cousin. Yeah. So, yeah. Not the fake cousin. Yeah, but yeah, that's my right. cousin that's from Long Island. When do we My meet? long lost girl. Long lost, yes. She said she hit me up on Facebook. <laughs> I, I didn't know who she was. I told my mom, I was like, mommy, some girl hit me up talking about she my cousin. My mom was like, delete it, delete it. I'm weak. She like, we don't know her. Yes, because I was like, I don't know her. My mom was like, no, invite her to your sweet 16. And I was like, no, the random person stuff hitting somebody exactly. else. She was like, just do it. I said it. I was like, okay. that's your mom, though. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's your mom. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. That is a fact. But yeah. And then I met you guys through mm -hmm. Kiara. And yeah, you guys are dope. I love the vibes. I love your vibes, too. Yeah. You know, she cool. <laughs> no, no. I know. No, you, you don't. I don't bring people around my friend group, my intimate friend group. So, Ooh, you from the squad. I feel I like I feel special. Yeah. 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 No, I was shy in the beginning. And I was real to myself, and then I warmed up and I was like, no, I "Hey, met Corey, hey, we had a time. That we had a time. <laughs> <laughs> and when we go out, Ooh. we be having a time. Ain't the work.
Oh, no, you have to watch out for yes. No, you don't. Yes, you she do. would get you drunk while she's sitting in the corner sober. Right. She's right. like, right. I'm right. gonna keep out. That's why they coming. Face your face. Ready? All right. Cheers. Prosperity. Prosperity Growth episode two. Episode two. Come on now. Get together. All right. Clink, clink. Ooh, that's God damn. Don tried to bring himself back up. Can I get another one? Relax. Bartender. Bartender. Can I get another one? Can I get a, a another one? Thank you. What's that thing? Waiter. Waiter. <laughs> All right. So, so what does girl code mean to you? Corey. No, don't start with me first. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pass it to Deanna. the next person. Oh. It depends on what kind of like we talking about like friendship girl code or like girl code girl friendship, code like girl code anything so whatever it comes to mind. Yeah. Let me tell you something. How I look at girl code is you have my back, I have your back. Period. If we in this together, don't do no snake shit. We won't have no problems. Mm -hmm. Loyalty and trust. Loyalty. That's what girl code mean to me. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. I don't know what you get deep into. We should jump into it. Let's get into yeah. it. That's say? like all right. Let me let me ask this. Cause I, I feel like some people don't understand this, right? So imagine you was fucking with a nigga, right? And you and him no longer mess around. And here come your friend trying to fuck with that same nigga. You breaking the girl code. Cause I don't care if we not together no more, if we not messing with each other no more. You're supposed to be my friend. So you should not be fucking with that man. So that's how I feel like girl code goes. It's like you, you stand on shit when it comes down to me. Don't do no shit I won't do to you. What That's about it. them girls that be messing with your, your nigga low key and they supposed to be your friends? See, now you got to get your ass beat. I'm and you, you find out beating. from somebody else and they know, but they not speaking on your Let behalf. me tell you something. Like, that's, <clears throat> when I was I in like middle school, because I'm about to tell my son, I'm about to speak my truth. I don't care who watches. this. When I was in middle school, there was this one boy I was going out with. I mean, you know who I'm talking about. I don't want to put his name shot. out there. Don't say no <laughs> I won't say his say name. Names. Nah, I ain't going to say this it. This is a podcast. This is a podcast. Real. All right. You know. No. So don't, don't say, say it. no names. <laughs> I was gonna say you it. Get it off your chest. No. <laughs> All right, we ain't gonna say it. Not yet, for real. No. All right. So I was messing with Episode this boy in middle school, <laughs> <laughs> and basically, the females that I was friends with and I was close with. Mm. While I was going out with him, he was messing with all of them. And all of them bitches was smiling in my face, and I can understand because, like, we're in middle school, so we're in like freaking seventh grade, eighth grade. So it was like. Everybody wants to date because now you're growing up and you're becoming, you're like, you know what you want and you know who you like. But I just feel like if you know, like the whole school knows me and this person is dating, why would you feel so comfortable as my friend to go and be with him behind my back? And he was with multiple of my friends. It's not just like one personal friend. Like he was with everybody well, I was cool with. messed with them, all them people? Yes. Oh. While me and him was together. So all the friends, I'm talking about we going home from school together we calling each other every day calling each other friends and this boy is in y'all faces I in y'all text person? messages the thing is when did he find yeah. time to do all of that if y'all was hey, y'all in middle school why y'all got so much time in your head girl what listen middle school was something you you know who i used to mess with in middle school where everybody was around him. oh please don't say it <laughs> yeah, i'm not gonna say it no names but yes now, he's a god-fearing man now the man done hit me up so many times trying to apologize and this has happened since 2000 and what 10 he, he, he. Hallelujah for him. Be the, they, those be the ones. Sure those, be the ones. those be the ones. Those be the ones. Right, but yeah, um, I've had to. I'm not gonna say I've had a lot of friends, but I've had to fall out with a lot of people because I feel like a lot of people's not real, right? So, it is what it is. And that's just that. It's like me. Well, y'all know I grew up in a church setting, and I used to talk to this boy. I met him. In 2009, on the 4th of July, his my mom and his sister were friends or whatever. And we started dating, like, we met the 4th of July, we started dating the 19th. <laughs> I was young. Wait, hold on, what's going on? <laughs> the math was a math in this now. But whatever. Church Great. Church I was young, but I liked him. We, we know. We you like him. I lived him. in Long Island. <laughs> She said, forget it. We're together. We're, We're married. Together. I liked him. We started talking, but I lived in Long Island. We right. lived in Brooklyn. So I would have to go to one of my friends' house to like to go meet up with him or whatever. And 
Yo. I don't know that me going to my friend's house that she would start talking to my boyfriend. You be her ass? Low key. No. Why not? Y'all know who it is, but I'm not gonna say no. Oh, come on now. Come on. Now. Um they watching. Yeah. No, shut up. We're not that. <laughs> I mean, we 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 not that wrong. Yeah. And another friend of mine is the one who told me, like, she was like, You still together with so and so? And I was like, Yeah, she was like, No, him and somebody else is together. And I was like, What? That so was the key remember, word of beating that person's yeah. ass. So you remember back in the days, you'd be like, oh, put me on three-way, but put the phone on mute. I remember that. So the girl just spilling out all the tea to how she saw my boyfriend, they be together, blah, 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 blah. I went mm-hmm. to church the next day. I did not talk to her. And then she came over to me like, hey, Kiki girl, blah, 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 trying to talk to me. You tell I was you like, nah, that's, like, nah. I would have beat that yeah. girl ass in the name and of the And my mom made us church. talk. My mom brought us to her office because she was not having it. Podcast going to talk so Problems. Hey. No, no, I mean, what is what I'm saying? Imagination. This is Cinderella. She <laughs> gonna fit. <laughs> that she <laughs> gonna fit. That bitch can't find her. So, and she was my best friend at the time. I really like ran around the streets with this girl. She, oh, you was in the streets? Yes. Streets I used to be with the Z. Not with this girl. Not really. Like, yeah, we still be out at her house all the time. Those be the ones. And now I, I don't look at her the same, but we still cool. She's my family, believe it or not. What? It's not me. <laughs> I was about to say call me. I was about to say call me. Do you have something to tell her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I forgave her and I just moved on. Forgive, but don't forget. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did it feel good to forgive her? At the moment, no. It's like I had no choice. My mom forced it on me at the time because I was young. She was like, you should not have no boyfriend anyways. Caribbean, true so Caribbean. Then, but as I got older, I realized that everything happened for that reason. So, yeah. So, I forgive her now. I feel like it takes it takes a lot of strength to, to forgive people that do shit. Like, that shows yeah. growth. You don't remember what you're forgiving good. for yourself. Yeah. 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 Like, but yeah. I just can't. I and I, I still say, support I can't her. Like, you're still like, yeah. I support her. I show yeah. up whenever she needs me. Like, I, yeah. there's no bad blood with us. Just don't do that shit now. <laughs> we in different times. It's 2023. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me put my tins on. Don't let me put the tins No fair on. ones. We share right. ones. Corey, <laughs> what this girl Corey to you? Well, pretty much, not getting Kiana really hit it off the bat. Yeah. Can't really have, like, Corey, Corey please. <laughs> but it's true. That's what he's like. Yeah. Loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, and, like, mm-hmm. how I'm handling, like, how I'm acting towards you with other people, I feel like it's reciprocated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I'm showing you shit, you're just like, right. somebody's talking about me. I feel like a lot of people take friendships for granted. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because people don't know how to separate friendship groups. Like you have your friends that you party with, but you have your friends who are there through like through tough times. So it was like when you get a good friend, you have to hold on to that friend. Because mm-hmm. the moment you do something bad to that person, you lose that person forever. And like I said, it's not easy coming across people that is true, genuine friends. Mm-hmm. So how I look at it is it's never a loss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was my problem. Mm-hmm. Not separating my friend groups. I also felt the need to put everybody together. Yeah. Because I genuinely love all my friends mm-hmm. equally. And I feel like, I used to feel like, oh, mm-hmm. well, she gets to know each other. Like, yeah. No, that's not yeah, no, you have to you have to separate your friends. You have different hard, friends right? for different for reasons different and different yeah. seasons. Yeah. Because not everybody can elevate with you. Yeah. Some people are there just to hinder you and some people want to see yeah. you elevate. But you can't take everybody everywhere. Like you yeah. never notice when you lose somebody, like and uh, right. <laughs> it's like a weight is lifted off of your shoulder. Yeah. You really it have depends. to sit back like this. You was the devil. That brings us to our next questions. Which one is harder? A friendship breakup or a relationship breakup? I'll go first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she eager. Okay. She, she, she was was like, no, I, 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 I used to think breakups was hard, like with guys and stuff, because mm-hmm. I never really lost a real friend. Mm-hmm. But friendships, that's, that hurts. Yeah. It do. It, it's on a different level. Because mm-hmm. it's like, you know, my secrets, you know, everything that I've been through, I know all your secrets, yep. everything mm-hmm. that you've been through. So it's like, I guess, losing your person, like, just being a narrative. That is hard because it's like, who else can I go to? And I don't want to share everything with a random a person. Yeah. Exactly. That's or like, even like, there's certain things that you wouldn't want to share with this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I already told my friends. 
her and Janelle. Why you gotta point to me first? Because <laughs> yeah. if y'all going somewhere, y'all not leaving. I'm gonna kill y'all because y'all know too much about me. If I ever go missing, <laughs> y'all know too much about me. So I hope all these cameras right. <laughs> if I ever go missing, y'all go nowhere. So I don't care. No, nope. so. friend. Who lost what friend? No, uh, uh-uh. uh. So that's my problem. Fix I just it. Feel yeah. like it, is what it is. And we never fight. We never argue. And we've been friends forever. We have. To me. I can't really choose because I never really lost a friend that I didn't want. Like if you if you left and you're not there no more, that means you really wasn't my friend. And it's for a reason too. Like, I don't like when people call everybody their friend. That's that not shit your pisses friend. me off. Because what makes that your friend? Right. Because y'all because y'all get drunk together. That's yeah. not your friend. And all y'all like, have in common is getting high and drinking. drinking. Mm -hmm. Y'all not motivating right. each other. That's what I'm saying. But the it's moment you get into light, some real yeah. shit and you calling me, it's like where's your friend? Yeah. Who can you call where's late at night? So yes, yeah, so I can't really give an answer on that. I never really lost a friendship or a relationship life. So me, I can't. I feel like it's it's 50-50, depending on the bond and relationship that you have with your friend or best friend or your partner. It's two different things. So I can't really answer that for me. I definitely feel like friendship breakups are worse than like what Corey said, because you could always meet somebody today, y'all could fall in love tomorrow. That person's gonna be born. You always need that friend to fall back on. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that, especially if it's somebody that you've known for a very long time and you don't have that anymore that shit hurts because it's like who are you really talking to at the end of the day you don't have nobody to support you like you know how many times you can wake up crying in the middle of the night and you want to call that friend and you can't but like, don't you think shit. you could still get a new friend just the same way you can still get a new no, partner no, no. You, no. Can you can always get a new friend because that new friend don't know it's your not favorite the same color. Thing. they, they didn't see you grow up mm -hmm. and sometimes you could be friends with somebody for 10 years thinking you know them and the moment y'all fall out it's like mm -hmm. this is who you really are like you was low-key right. hating on no me the whole time. it's like this is who you really now you are say all, like you people told me that before. yeah people having mm -hmm. a lot of masks when they're your friends because they want to keep you in that circle they want to have that person that they can be like oh that's my ride or die or da 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 it's down the third but the moment some shit happened and you and her, that's what I'm saying, you and her fall out, that's when you see, you know what? I was having a conversation with this with somebody. I'm like, if you could be my friend and we could fall out, and the moment you get on social media and you leak anything, that's my you're done. I'm not going to do that. And Don't people know how we are. So if people mm -hmm. know that we're friends, they're mm -hmm. going to know who you're talking about. I'm saying, there's no coming back from So that. Like once you get to, y'all together. So yeah. once you take it to table. social media, it's, it's done. Oh, seriously. Like, I feel like if we can't argue and we can't bounce back from that, and you have to go to somebody else to spill my business it's or talk shit about agent. me. We was never friends in the first place. You literally was wearing a mask the whole time with friends, and you was waiting until the moment that shit was not was rocky to spill shit. Bitch, I will that beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't change because my cup <laughs> acting is this. Right. But I'm just saying, though, like, don't don't cross that line with me because it's, listen, I'm not going to say I hold grudges, but I just feel like. I hold grudges, and I don't care. I just feel like it's a different it. level. Yeah, I'm not working on nothing. I'm holding grudges. I don't care. It's a different yeah. level. You hurt me, you really hurt me. Right. I'm a sensitive person. Because you even have to do me like that. Because I'm I I'm very loyal. I help people. I go above oh, and beyond. Boy. And for somebody to hurt me like that, that sucks. Like right. nobody wants to get hurt. When I'm sitting here riding, riding, right. dying for you, like you wanna do me like that. Like I'm the friend, you could call me, you wanna go to church, you wanna do a shootout, you wanna go drive. Right, and I'm down for the shootout. Right. All right. You call me three o'clock in the morning and say you wanna slash tires. Girl, I'm ready. We was ready. We was ready to slash tires. All right. Shit in my hand. Don't let me get no pennies. I'm throwing pennies at your car. Right. What they call it? The rock in the sock, the sock in the rock. Right. Okay. Right. Okay, yeah. six kids. Dangerous. Six kids. Dangerous. <laughs> I'm coming up there with the pepper spray, with the taser. Yeah. Rup, poke em. You don't even what know. Do spray him, poke him. <laughs> Hit him in the knee. Right. <laughs> Kick him in the shit. <laughs> Put him in the balls. At all. Grab it. <laughs> Yo, all right. Um. So what kind of friend would you say you are? Um, I feel like I'm, I, I'm all right. I'm the type of friend you may have to call me 15 times. I may not answer your text message. I may go low key, but I already know I'm the type of friend. If anything happens to you, I'm right there. Like that's how I am because I like being by myself. Myself, believe it or not, I am a social butterfly. But sometimes I get in my moments where I don't want to be bothered. I'm, y'all know I'm really close to my family, but I'm like that with them too. 
So it's like sometimes I like to be by myself. So I'm not always going to be there like 24 seven to talk to you consistently. I don't like talking to people consistently. I don't like people like that. Like I don't need to be on the phone with you 24 seven because we friends. I don't need to text you 24 seven because we friends. But the moment you ever need help, I'm there for you. So that's the type of friend that I am. It's crazy because the group for us, like we get dead, not see each other for right, months. For and months. as soon as we link up, we be having the time like, of our life like, like, and everything. Talk about, yeah. Yeah. We have? We've that group chat was 2014? Yeah. Well, not this one, but we have, we have different Never we have, we've But had no, we've been in a group chat ever since 2014. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, we will go ghost for like months. And, and then somebody texts back in the group chat and we <laughs> have <everything laughs> <is> never <laughs> like, 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 we never seen it. Like, we don't know. Exactly. No, that's a fact. Yeah, that's the that's type of friend I am. Like, I've been through some shit with, like I said, I have different friend groups and I show up every time. Even when I know I'm not fully there for myself, I feel like once my friends need my help, like I'm ready to be up whoever. The moment you call me crying, I'm fucking up whoever got you crying. Like, that's it. It's on site. I'm bringing bottles because we're crying and we're drinking together. Mm-hmm. Like, like that is it. Exactly. It. So. And then after I right. take that bottle, crack staff. Right. <laughs> I crack that shit over your head. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cracking it over your head. Um, I feel like the same thing like what Kiana's saying. I'm loyal, trustworthy. Anytime anybody needs me, I'm there. Like that's always been like I'm I'm ten toes down. Like I really love you, and I say I love you, and I'm I'm all in for you, relationship wise, friendship, all of that. Like I I always put people before me. Mm. Always. That's a good and a bad thing. There mm-hmm. is. So that's why right now I am working on myself and focusing on myself right now. So I'll be able to give myself what I want mm-hmm. and then everybody else. Because it's not it's not good being there for yourself and then giving your all to everybody else. Because at the end, you're like, what do I have left to give myself? So other than that, I'm a thousand percent loyal. Thousand, thousand. Not a hundred. Thousand, like, every day. I feel like for you guys, it's easier for you guys to answer that question. But like, you ask, how do we feel? How how we are as friends? Mm -hmm. We're coming from our point of view. Yeah. So it's like, well, we think we are as friends, but we don't. You guys would know because you guys are all friends, so you guys could tell. Like, yeah, you are that type of friend. But like for me, I'm a guest, so it's Mm -hmm. like I'm gonna be speaking from how I feel. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how my friends really feel how I am as a friend. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm a friend that show up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm the show up friend. Like I'm there for everybody. Like I will give my last to my friends. Like mm-hmm. I same thing. Put my friends before myself. Yes. I mean, that was my problem. That was my downfall. It was like forget Corey, but like if Emily, Rebecca, and Kimberly. I have no friends with that names, by the way. But <laughs> if they needed me, I'm, yeah, they like who's Amber? <laughs> but um. I will always put them first, like people, myself, a relationship, sometimes family, and oh. I have to stop doing that. Woo! That's not getting on family. Let me tell you something. Sometimes, we don't have to say that for another Sometimes, you know how they say blood is thicker than water? Sometimes water it is, is thicker than blood. Because it'd be your own family. It you. I'm who, man. You know, like, I think that's man. for us. Family, family, that's family. Part, that's, 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 oh, I think I might have that whole episode for myself because what? Oh, I'm sorry no, to my practice. No <laughs> yes, because no, no it really do be family, man. Like, you, you, and this you is really this is why I'm here by myself. You really do have family, and your family be your biggest haters. Like, and it'd be crazy because it's like, yo, we are really blood. Like, we can't, we come from the same blood. Now. And you would think and you want to uplift me saying, and we and all eat together because we're family. Like, and you're really booing for me the whole time. That's yes. what it is. That's what, that's that's just, that that's too. Just, family, that's mostly how it is with family. And I feel like, like they try to bring you down. Like, for my situation, family, y'all going to hear this. I don't care. Uh-huh. It is you what really it is. I'm grown. So, like I said, I feel like all y'all held me down. All, all these years I've been going through and stuff, y'all tried to tear me apart. But the person I am today, way different from the person I am. Stronger. Like, way better. Like, y'all look at me now like, dang, like, this person really changed. Like, she's really doing better than what she used to be. It's like, yo, I see, I see that, I see that change in you. Like, 
crazy. So H to the O. I went through a lot with my family, and not a lot of people know about that. So I'm actually glad I went through that environment because it made me who I am today, I and it's gonna make me better character. going forward. So family, y'all watching. And it's like, I appreciate day, y'all. Really I appreciate yourself. y'all. It is. And it's crazy. Yeah, them chances. Yeah. The chances. At the chances. At the chances. Yeah, I was just like, yo, this is, my, this is my, this is my, this is my fame. I feel like, all right, let me get this for another person chance. All right, nice, all right, they, by mistake. Chances, chances. Like, all right, three strikes. Like, After three no. strikes, you out. Like that's that's it. I, you know, I had enough. Get pissed off when you cut them off, and it's like, yo, how you mad at me? Like, what you said? Why are you being weird to me? <laughs> you do seen this coming. Like you seen it coming. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they had that little side. Like, no, like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, that's that's the sad part. Like I, <laughs> and all I wanted to see is people win. All the people I love and all that stuff, and I don't hate on nobody. I don't hate on nobody. I just want to see everybody win because there's enough room in this world for everybody to so win. Right. And the there's the enough money, though. Like, like, come on. Like, and that's okay. the problem with this world. They, they don't. Okay. Like, this world is going to be so <laughs> shitty. We <laughs> have to be bringing each other down. Like, there's so much going on in this world, right. but yet we all rather just tear each other down. But it's so but easy to tear each other down. And it's mainly, I'm not going to lie, mm-hmm. if you really look at it, it's African Americans. It is. We do not work together at, it is. at they all. They've been the main one screaming, Black people rights, Black people. Oh, Black Lives Matter. We're killing each, each other. other. Yes, like, we're making it easier for everybody else. Like, they sitting like, there laughing. Like that. So it was like, if we can't sit here as Black people and unite and be one, especially when it comes down to families, like, how are you expecting other people to take you serious? Yeah. Like, it makes sense. You know. But look at that Montgomery that ball. They, them black people were the same. Right. He do that. Right. He was like, the Batman sitting there. It did not come down, bro. It's the black people. Did you see that there, though? Right. Yeah. Let me tell you something. He was Michael Feltonate. And he had the afro and everything going on. He came out. Like, come on now. Like, shout out to you, ball. Diamond, you're actually sitting on the chair. If you were. She's sitting on the chair, y'all. That's she is sitting on the chair. I got to get up real quick. I need to get one. Not on us, please. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about United. What is it? U N I T Y. Yes. Yes. You don't know that song? No. Uh huh. Give me your black card. <laughs> Come on now. Right. Look How do you know that? Look who y'all talking to. I don't know. I mean, she black. So let me check. Slash white. <laughs> <laughs> she black. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to do the uh, ten? Can you be friends again with a friend after a bad fight? Um, like I said, a deal breaker is social media. But honestly, the way I am as a person, I have to stop being this way. I be letting people back in, and I know that I need to not let them back You're in. You're too forgiving. I am very true. We spoke about boundaries. We spoke yeah, about yeah. boundaries in and the first episode. Set you have to. That's, That's the thing. Because when people see that they can get away with certain shit, they yeah. will continue to do it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's like once you and, and I'm learning that too. You. That's what I'm saying. I'm learning that too. I'm starting to learn that when somebody does something that I don't like, I have to let them go the first time. What's that time? Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool, Fool me twice and put, put the blame, blame on you. Fool me three times, fuck the peace sign. Know the chopper, let it rain on you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't want to say no, mm-hmm. and I don't want to say yes. I don't know. That was me. I'm so used to not saying no because I feel like if I say no. It hurts me more to say no than to say yes. yes. And I don't know why. Like, I'm always like, yes, I'm going to do this for you. Yes. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah, so used to it. So when you finally yeah. say yes, like, like, I don't feel yeah. right. And then I, it makes me feel weird yeah. and I'd be so sad. Like, I, said, I really said, said no. Because yeah. yeah. you're so used to saying yes. But sometimes saying no is good for you. It's to protect your Not peace. the shades. <laughs> <laughs> the shades have to come on because I'm lit. <laughs> But yeah, that's sometimes right. that's like right. even people be asking you what you doing. I be so selective now. I don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm sleeping. That's like I'm, like, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> even when you're not yeah. busy, I'm busy. Not for you, <laughs> right? I go everywhere. Corey asks, call me. I'm coming. Cause we, I don't have to entertain her. I like to be you know, there. Yeah, you don't gotta entertain. entertain you. But once I say I'm sleepy, y'all already know. She, be, she before she gets the sleepy she word out, she needs. I'm already tired. Like sleepy. I like to be like that. Yes. Let me get you a blanket and some 
Remember I was at your house for a day? My mom yeah. left me at your house. She did. For the whole night. I thought I was going home at 10 o'clock. We watched So You Think We Could Dance a whole <laughs> series. No, you watched it. I was oh, asleep. Kiara is bad company. <laughs> she was sleeping halfway I'm through. I'm, I'm a very sleepy girl. <laughs> She's sleeping beauty. Yes. Kiara. All right. Um, hey, what was the question? <clears throat> I did. I said I forgave her. I already but said now, it depends on. Can I? What is the question? Can you be <laughs> friends again after a bad fight? It depends. It depends. We didn't. Fight. It's the best. I'm saying it depends on the severity. It really hurt me. It depends on the severity because I feel like if you go through a bad fight with with a friend, y'all are friends, so you should be able to bounce back from that. And I had another and friend too. Y'all met her. We went to the beach with her. We went to the beach. Y'all met her. Remember. I haven't been to the beach in a long time. We went to the, the beach. Girl. It was like senior year. We took her to the beach. It was all of us. I know who you're yes. talking about. She, um, you know, I found out she was messing with my ass. boyfriend what? as well. Yeah. Sending, him, <laughs> sending him pictures. Cause ah, I saw, I'm ah, like, let me see your friend. phone. I went to take a selfie on her phone. And then I saw his number. I'm like, why do you have his number? And mind you, she lived in Long Island. He lived in Queens, but she met him through me. Cause I used to take her to church with me. That's I'm telling you, these church niggas ain't Sammy, shit. you they know. Not. You know. I took her to church with me. Light-skinned girl. She light-skinned. You know. went to the beach? You know. Do you know. Yes. You so excited. Yep, she sent Ooh. pictures of her bra to my boyfriend, and I saw it. That's crazy. And I confronted her. And then I stopped being friends with her. But then I forgave like, her. See, I'm you very forgiving. Because they be thinking, right. Here, right. So they ain't gonna and then also, she stole clothes from my house. Girl. She stole my mom's Chinese slippers. She stole my Not American Eagle slippers. She, right. did she did, and that's why I wasn't upset. And she she wore it to school. Swore she didn't steal it. She swore she didn't steal it, but she still wore it Yo, to school. Let me, let me tell you, let me tell you something. I, I had... You know, you know exactly who I'm talking about. The same one that you fought at elementary school, and you will still fight her if you see her today. You know who I'm talking about. Starts with an L. Ends in an A. Ends in an A. Get it anytime. That bitch, me and her used to be cool. She used to live up the block from me. And my mother, I had just remember, my mother had just bought me this red lip gloss. This bitch is dirty. Red my mother lip gloss. Oh, my, you was kinky back yeah, then. Yeah, my mother had bought me this red lip gloss. She had just bought it. <laughs> And she was over my Yo. house. <laughs> Yada, what? You was playing Who rainbow? Was no. <laughs> Yo. But yeah, she was over my house one day. That is nuts. And then her father had told her she had to come home. And I'm looking for my lip gloss and I can't find it. So the girl that I was friends with, you know who I'm talking about the next one, the crazy one. It was on that bitch It was her cousin. She's looking for you. Yes. It was her cousin. And when I had called her cousin, I had told her, I'm like, yo, it was crazy. Cause I'm like, my mother just bought this red lip gloss and I can't find it. She was like, she described the whole lip gloss. She was like, oh, was it a red and like a clear too? So I'm like, yeah. She was like, oh, what's her name? I seen her putting it on her lips. The way I would have grabbed her lips. That was your last. Yes. That was your last. And scooped it back in the bottle. That was the last time that <laughs> me and Shorty ever talked because I'm like, that's crazy. I, cause, cause, you don't know yeah. what a person got. That's what I'm right. saying. But that's but that's that, no. That. I'm not gonna lie. When we was younger, we dad used to drink off each other all the time. Yeah, but Anybody. it's just so a respect thing. thing. Cause, cause, it's, to me, Cause it's like I invite, I, I brought you into oh. my house and you taking shit out of my place. You're done. Mm. You're done. Like there's no coming back. I'm not gonna lie. You're stealing. I don't like that. When I go to people's house, I dare be checking through their cabinets to see what type of medication you have. Right. Like your bills. Don't take your bills. Itching. Why is your bills itching? Right. Right. You sitting up. Yes. You sitting up. I be going checking behind the shower curtain to see what type of soap. I'm like, oh, you dirty, dirty. Do not. Do not invite me to your house. Yo, I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm checking behind toilet seats. I'm checking behind it. Oh, every time I go to somebody's house, I'm like, yeah, I got a bathroom. No, we went to. It's like no, we shit outside. We saw a Chinese school. We saw a roach at somebody's yeah. house. At somebody our old friend group. Yes. She's not in our friend group. It wasn't a roach. It was roaches. No, we saw one roach. 
and then we they, gave each other eye contact like right. alright bitch you and said that then came out like that one, we saw two dog. roaches we started packing up our food <laughs> we like nah we saw three roaches alright we out we gotta go <laughs> It's the, it's the fact that we started in the kitchen. We started moving slowly to the yes. front door. Like, right, we gotta go right. home, sis. You, your family's coming yes, out. Yes, that was your nice. family's yes. coming out. Like, they coming out. They coming out slowly. And we never went back to house ever since that day. I don't want what you got. No, keep you and your roaches what? to yourself. Yeah, no. no. Yeah. You gotta take your clothes off outside. No, my mother would have made me take my clothes off outside at the door. Like she did. She did that to me one time. Yeah. Made me take my clothes off outside. She was like, "You're not bringing that inside." Mm-mm. You know, what I was thinking about with your mom. Remember um, the hotel party and the yellow yeah. shop. You was the backyard? there. I was there. We had to, yes. We had, to to, we had to walk to. We had to walk to the gym. Still in jello shots so in the winter. Yes. Mama was like, "These." She put niggers. them shits in the snow. <laughs> she put those shits it in the so snow. Real. Yeah, I seen it. All right. So we gonna we gonna do that last one, or we gonna jump into the to the spicy shit. We could go into the spicy stuff first. This is a drinking game. <laughs> Answer or take a shot. I'm answering everything. Okay. Shot, 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 shot. Oh, we're gonna do a pre-birthday celebration. I'm gonna take a shot all day. Okay. Yes. Right. Girl, so which should we start with number one? No. Um. Number six. Number six. Just randomly picked. No. No. You sure? Wait, you can't see my shit because my my camera hooked up. Thank God. But oh, you I got sure? an Apple Watch. I don't have no phone. <laughs> um, right. Number one, have you ever stalked someone's social media? Surely have. Of faithfully. course. Kiana, remember that time we created a fake Instagram? We surely did. <laughs> a fake Instagram. We I mean, a fake Facebook. Did. It was a Facebook and an yes. Instagram. Okay. Technically, yeah. It was for my friend. It was a situation. I've done, that. I've done that a few it times. Was for my, a situation had happened. Mm-hmm. And I had to find out who this was. Okay. And I had to be friendships. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, we go to the same school, we in the same class, we're watching everything that she was posting. Like, yeah, we're gonna link up. Man. Let me tell I'm you something. About that time. Why did I do that? <laughs> yeah. I was on everything that I was <laughs> You know at the what? moment. It kind of is the moment. You know what it is? If I need receipts and yeah. I find it, Best believe I'm gonna keep it till the right moment. Cause you just get that gut feeling, right? It's not for me. I feel like but as women, we do. Yeah. Because it was like my friend was really hurt behind that. Yeah. So yeah. it was like, I want, I don't want to see my friend like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, so it's it like, it's like I gotta get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Yep. Um. Me, well, let me you. tell you something. Welcome if we fucking, I'm stalking. That's it. <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> and y'all already know the last situation ship I was in. Yeah, we stalked. I, I stalked that man. Let me tell you something. Me and that man was together for <laughs> ten <laughs> months, and something in my gut kept telling me this man was not faithful. Something yeah, kept telling me, and I have another Instagram. I went on that other Instagram and I found the bitch he was fucking with. I had all my receipts. It's like for some reason, for ten months I couldn't find nothing, but it's like my gut just kept telling me he was into shit. Mm-hmm. But it's like you can't, like you can't bring nothing to nobody if you don't have no source of evidence. Mm-hmm. So it was like okay, cool. And it was like when God wanted me to see it, I seen everything that's that I need to see, to say, like, and I brought all that information, that and I thought that I thought that man's page I faithfully, so, faithfully. Like when it's the, when I yeah, know, it's, it's gonna it's gonna come out. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm talking because some of these some people like you just you gotta get the you gotta dig deep. That's me. Um. So who was y'all worst kisser? I'll take a shot. Like, I have to say the name. Can I talk about you got to no, say the name. No. no. You don't have to. Yes, you do. You do? Yes, drink answer or take a shot. This is crazy. Who's your worst Chris or Corey? Oh, Lord, she about to say. Take a shot. Just take a shot. I'm thinking, all right, it was a kid named Sean, right? Sean, shout out to you. Shout out to you, Shout Sean. out to you, Sean. I hope we could kiss now. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said this kid named Sean. It was a kid named Sean. He was the worst kisser. Like, I don't know. It wasn't my first time kissing, but he felt the need to just choke his tongue. I don't like that. That's nice. A tongue shudder. I don't Sorry. like that. Just kissing, you just ask. And then, you just like, straight to you know, it. There was no motion, like, there was no connection. So it was like, you go on one way, I'm going the other way. It just felt so disgusting. And I felt so good. You just want his tongue yeah. down your throat? Yeah. I felt so disgusting. I feel like y'all are, you know, I don't want to say this. Who's your worst kiss to Kiana? <laughs> Can say, I? You got them shades on. Say it. <laughs> Tommy. Oh. Oh, 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 cheers. Oh, oh, cheers. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> Oh. Is that your friend? 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 Is that your fri
me to say that. You told me to say it, so I said it. He was. Don't get me wrong. Let me tell you something. Yeah. That man used to try to put his tongue down my throat every five seconds. I don't want to hear like, it. Next. No, I'm going to finish. <laughs> and it's like, it's one thing if you're trying to shove your tongue in my throat, but then you got to spit all over my mouth. Kiana, that's my friend. I don't Why? give a fuck. Yeah, fuck that nigga. And you know, it's like, it's everywhere when you you're chin. when the moment is to put Right. I don't like that. That's what I'm like saying. That. I don't like that. Why you a like that? Right. Why you like, right. Kiara, who's your worst kisser? <laughs> Just all in there. A worst kisser? The worst kisser. Not A. The worst kisser? Yes, A. Nah. She's not her taking. Bitch. Wow, that's mm. a good shot. That's fucking crazy. Name. Right. Anybody say the people name? Who's your worst kisser, Diamond? <laughs> Diamond. 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 Bitch, get around. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Some girl named what? What? Shanty. What about Chantel? Dang, Chantel. Chantel, I hope you could kiss now. <laughs> yeah, I could be. So that's that. Okay. Um. So, what is y'all relationship status? Fuck number three. Fuck number three. You have to get into it. What's your relationship status? Yep. I'm married. Big single. Big married. Big single. Married here. Girl, where's the ring? It's in my heart. You know? <laughs> That's all that matters. I am in a relationship. She's very much so taken, y'all. Very y'all can't have her. I don't want y'all. She don't want y'all. She want her no. man. Her I mean, man, her man, man, her man. Her man, man. My okay. Shout out to my man. My man, my man, my What's man. What's that song? Real Dulu yelling out my man with that. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. Yeah, I'm big single, and I'm telling all these niggas now when they ask me if I'm dating, I'm vibing with anybody who's vibing with me. You feel away, you feel away. She's vibing with anything with legs. (laughs) Anything (laughs) with a horse. I'm on it. What you said, big right? And big what? Right. It's that big D energy. All right. Big pockets. What was it? We out with the big dicks. (laughs) (laughs) Diamond, what's your relationship status? Don't be lame, y'all. Why do I feel like I'm Cheers. the only one? Yeah. Wait, what about me? Can I get some? Can, can Don make his way into my cup? You can have Don and the Julio. All right. What is the worst date you ever been on? Oh my God. I'll go first. So I think it was 2010. I met this boy in Brooklyn a friend and he wanted to take me to the movie theaters you remember the jamaica multiplex on the ass mm-hmm. i did not like this boy but he kept on insisting that he wanted to take me on a date so i was like all right whatever time? let's yeah, go i really did not want to go God, damn. and we went to the movies i forgot what movie we saw but there was a god at the time the fire alarm started going off <laughs> <laughs> i ran out of there so fast up the left I, he was like, no, they're going to put it back on. Just wait. Let's go like, go get something to eat from Applebee's. And I was like, no, my mom's calling me. I got to go home. I didn't finish my homework. I was not attracted to this boy at all. His name was Marcellus. Not that Marcellus. Oh, I'm going to say, I'm about to say, I'm to say, I'm to say, I'm about 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 to say, i my, that was my <laughs> um, <laughs> same person. It wasn't a. It was all right. So I want to say it was same person. Same, same person. T T. I have to check my I probably said you know Marcellus too. So it wasn't. No, no, you know Marcellus too. It wasn't a first date because we had already went out already. Like we had already violently went to like Brooklyn Bridge Park or whatever. But it was like the like the second link up, and I had went to this man's house. Take my glasses off. Something about them houses. Let me take my glasses off. So first of all, the house Can was dirty as fuck. Let's just start off with that. It was like I walked in the house, and it was just it was dirty. Like, and I'm like I understand if, if it's like just men, because you know men is not the cleanest people. But it's like you have a whole mother. She's not cleaning up. All right, a whole whatever. Mother. 
Not for mother. mother. So now we sitting down. It just kept. It just kept getting worse. Like as as the night was progressing, it just kept getting worse. Cause now we sitting down and we're watching a movie, and I seen a friend crawling across What's the floor. What's up with all these friends? Wait. I've seen, I've seen the shows that the the party. Party. <laughs> and the as I'm, and y'all know, I don't do good with bugs. Yeah. So as I'm we sitting know. down and I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to watch the, the movie and, and it's like, it just kept like attracting me. So he's talking to me in my ear and I told him, I looked over, I'm like, yo, you don't get up and fucking kill that bug. Cause I know you see it. It, it was a huge ass bug, right? It wasn't a regular one. It wasn't a regular one. It was the big big one. So he got up and he stomped on it with his foot and he just left it there. Like he didn't even pick it up nothing. So I'm like, okay. In front of you? Yes. I'm like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that the the, the couch, let's not forget the couch that we were sitting on. That shit was like the the fucking material was peeled off. So I'm like, okay, let me go use the bathroom. The bathroom was the worst. It's like I went to the bathroom. Ain't that your friend? Wait. It's the same it's tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my head. I was like, I went to the bathroom. Tea, Episode man. two, cancel. Delete, <laughs> cut, finish. Yeah. I know. So now it's like I went to the bathroom now, and I thought it could like it got worse. It's like I went to the bathroom. You know, you know scream. Do, 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 do. It was like it was the it was the soaps. It was the soaps sorry, on the floor. No the bath. The, the rags were stiff. Yeah. There was dirty underwear on the floor. The bathtub was so blue and it was rusted. Like it was there for weeks. Let Just me tell you, up. it was given months. It was given unwashed <laughs> ass. It was given unwashed it, ass. That's my friend. And um, so friend. now the thing, the thing, know all of this. the thing that caught me was like, he had told me that day I was supposed to come over. He was like, oh yeah, I'm cleaning up. Like this nigga was cleaning for hours. So I kept what mentioning, I kept mentioning the whole night. I'm like, I thought you cleaned. And he's like, yeah, I did. And I'm like, okay. Well, and then the mean? next instant, I was like, I thought you clean. And he was like, I did. And I'm like, okay. And then no, when we, when we finally, they, they when I finally got to the bathroom, I'm like, yo, I thought you clean. He was like, you trying to be funny? I said, nigga, I'm stating facts. I asked him three times. I asked him three times. I'm like, your house is a mess. This is scary. He, clean. he didn't clean. He, clean. Uh, he didn't clean. He Nigga cleaned had... to the best of his ability. Yes. Yes. That was not it. He so didn't give his best. Still, but not everybody knows how to clean. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I Let me tell you something. That a mean, nigga, she's a nanny and a man. A like, nigga gonna be the dirtiest nigga, but the minute he know he got a female coming over, you finna have shit sparkling. Ain't that true. house, he didn't give she's no. But did you say he took care of his like teeth? Who's teeth? Teeth? You said he used to use peroxide and baking that's soda. That's not enough. Wrong nigga. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wrong nigga. Oh. But yeah, that was that was like the worst. That was the worst shit I ever went through with a nigga because that was kind of. I never went back to his house after that. Mm-mm. What is the most toxic zodiac sign you mixed with? <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> Gemini. Virgo. Aquarius. Gemini. Oh Gemini. Gemini. Huh? Gemini. Big Gemini. No, Them niggas is manipulated. Gemini. Virgos yeah. are. They're manipulative. Yeah. They're crazy. Yeah. We're going to have five to that. Capricorn. Manipulative. They're crazy. Okay, Gemini. Yeah. Gemini. 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 <laughs> That's a fuck. Get the fuck away from you like the off spray, bitch. Back up. This drink is drinking. <laughs> Back the fuck up. No, Capricorn for me. I don't know why I attract a lot of Capricorn. Nah, Gemini was definitely. Why. I would. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm anti Gemini. Oh, Gemini's and Cancers. Cancers are sensitive. I don't, sensitive. Know. I don't, I don't know. know what sign that boy was. Who? Oh. What month? Oh. When was his birthday? I mean, I got him on oh, Instagram. Well, Just let me give me a second. I can search him up. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's probably. Yeah, he was. He was definitely for the streets. He was. Like, he, de- he looks like a crackhead now, though. Like, he gives oh, crackhead. Man. He gives smoked out. I just lips black. I don't know what I see in the people I used Some to Some lips black. I feel like that's. The but he had a, he had a big dick, so that mattered, right? <laughs> That was a girl. That, <laughs> that <laughs> Next so, question. Yes, who, who, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> who has given you the best sexual experience? <sighs> wait, are we I'm naming? I'm saying my name. So. Are we naming it? Let me we tell you something. Name. So don't be scared. I name. dealt with this Jamaican nigga, right? Name. And he was my sneaky <laughs> link. Don't try to, shout out to him. Say names. Wait, I have to say a name? name. All right. <laughs> shout out to you. Let me tell you something. Don't be pussy now. All right. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to get the Bottom camera. Let's get it. Dale, if you ever see this, your dick big. <laughs> it real big. It's sweet. It's nice. 
she said what she said. That man, that man, that man, that man had me crying. <laughs> that man, that man, that man. <laughs> he had me. <laughs> that he had me crying, but no, him like he he You're took sick. he took me there. That nigga had me. He had me out here, opening up gates I didn't even know was there. Like he, Corey, he was in the portal. You're. <laughs> he tried to he tried to make a comeback, this and I told him no. I told him no, but I might. Answer was take a shot, so you can take a shot. Come on, y'all need to take a shot. Let's go. You both this. You two grown. Let me tell you something. It don't matter if it. In 2005, exactly. it's the best. It's the best. It's the That's true. I know. Okay, but what? Like, what are we talking about? Who gave you your best sexual experience? Like, like anything? Yeah. Any, any, come on now. Um, I think you need to take that shot. No, no fuss or drink. Say what you gotta say. Come on. I think you best say. Yeah, I had enough. Yeah, I had enough. Yeah. Diamond. Um. I would just say my, my current partner because I do things that I've never done before. And it's like, As you should. I tried. Oh, damn. Well, I didn't try yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, we made a little drink drink. They tried mm-hmm. and I felt it. It didn't feel comfortable. But like, with my current partner now, it's like. He's I'm opening up gates. So, yeah. Y'all, the liquor done. Diamond. <laughs> liquor done. Me? Yeah. She was popping that coochie. <laughs> <laughs> She was after that coochie as she yeah. said. Yeah. She had the she had the fat cat out. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Okay. Nami, Nami. Wait, we reminiscing. <laughs> Wait. And it feels so Thank good. You. <laughs> Nothing feels better. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. That's mine. What do you think? What if you like? Right. <laughs> Y'all are nuts. Yeah, right? Yo. Nah, this no. is crazy. You the one who came up with the questions. Like, come on, man. People are watching. This is a podcast. Come on. Exactly. Come on. We about to skip to the next question. So your best friend, right, says she want to fuck you. Y'all going to fuck? You want to fuck? No. <laughs> no. You know what? Let me tell y'all something. I feel like it's levels to this. If we friends, I can't just be out here just giving you this weapon. Put her butt in your face. She did. She was trying to have me eat that shit. And I told her no. I said, back up. I said, the Lord is within me. Okay. But no, I feel like I feel like I can't because it, it gets complicated. Because sometimes you can explain to people like, all right, we just fucking just a fuck. Okay. <laughs> you know, like you can tell somebody like, all right, this is just that, and then they get attached. So I feel like I wouldn't be able to look at you the same after we've done that. That's me. I'm too clingy. That too. Because like if I get it and it's good, I'm going to want it all the time. And that's what I'm going to know that's it. I thought that's going to ruin the sunshine. Like, that's what I'm like, saying. I'm not going to care. And it's like, I right. Corey, she she Wait, so you can sleep with somebody without butt. having strings attached? I can't, I can't do that. I did that with my sneaky link. I can't. He tried to, he tried to get with me after a while. I'm like, nigga, I this can't, is, once we're on a schedule. I want to keep doing it. No, because I don't want to be like this for real. You know, it's like, it's different. I could play. I can't. But it's it's very rare for me to catch yeah. feelings. I've only been in two relationships in my life, the one mm-hmm. I'm in now and my childhood one. Yeah. So it's easy for me to like, deuces, mm-hmm. When was the last time y'all masturbated? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I was being just that is what's thrown like, out there. Yeah. When was the last time y'all masturbated? Let me tell you something. Yesterday I had no gotta do what you gotta do. Yesterday I was kid free and I was at <laughs> She was deep. <laughs> I, went through, I went through my toys. I said, baby, I haven't used you in a while. The house was quiet and I got to it. The house was quiet. I was not. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was not. I was not. Sure the fuck was, right? Hey, mate. <laughs> you have no high speed? Yes, the fuck I oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> and then she was scared of me. <laughs> but she was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, yesterday was, was the last I was on, I was on, I was on a roll. I might just go home and do it again. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leg up. Right. Leg Leg different up. position. Had them shoes behind my neck. <laughs> 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 I 
feels like a folded tent. Yeah, man. Mine was two weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two weeks ago. She out here fiddling her diddle. <laughs> Fiddling her dad at a time that night. Anybody else want to answer? We waiting for Diamond. She Diamond, it can't, it. It can't that be that long. rusty. <laughs> right. Cowboy. She nice. Nice. It's like for us as I don't, I don't know. It's just. Let me tell you something. It's better when I do it myself than with these niggas. They don't even know what the fuck they. Wait. So do you for. ever have to masturbate after you have like yes. sexual intercourse with somebody? Like, do you have you ever faked the orgasm? Of yes. course. Let me tell you something. I've learned as I've gotten older that you older. have to be, you have to keep it real with these niggas. They get their like, nut. Enough is enough. <laughs> these niggas be getting their nut and they don't give a fuck. They, they don't. don't. So the last nigga that I was talking to that I was in a relationship with, we did the do. And I went home and I told him, I was like, all right, you have a good night. I'm about to use my rose. He was mad. He you was told like, him? yes. He he you was like you, he was you, like you, why you know. ain't he was like why you ain't waking me up and I'm like because his ego was shot sure. no because you know what well, it is I don't know I don't know if it's just because I'm a sexual person but every person that I've ever yeah. done anything with they be nothing fast and they always blame it on me you wanted this spot it's nigga. Not, it's, so it's I not gave it yeah. this coochie so yeah. that. I gave it that's, to you so I just that, feel like because you know what it is every nigga want a shorty with a fat ass but then when they get a shorty with a fat ass they don't know they don't know what to do with it and then they be nothing quick so it was like now I gotta finish myself off so it's it's a whole thing. So. What would I do with it? <laughs> we can try. We can plan this out. Let's clear it out. Let's no, see. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna give that. So I would want whoever I'm having sex with all that. I would want them to get that not all. Right. So are you a giver or a receiver? I do everything. Based on Me? experience, I'd rather just be a giver than a receiver. What? I'm well, it depends because like, like some of these, yeah, because some of these people. And but I, I take pride thing. in what I do. I get, I got I'm five stars. Google me, Google me, baby. I got trophies on my name. I'm going in like this. What Cardi? What Cardi B say? That dangly thing that's in the back of my throat. But my mouth's small. No, I don't know. My mouth is kind of small. Yeah. And that's such a. I do not do any of these things, It's more. If you're one. She's wild. If you're watching, I don't do, I don't do anything. She's wild. We gotta try to hurry up and wrap this up. So we'll do the last two questions and then we're gonna wrap this up. So who has given you your best sexual experience? So. Didn't we answer that already? We did. We did. All right, so name an ex you thought had big dick energy. None of my exes had big dick energy. None of mine either. They're an ex for a reason. An example of what not to do again. They're not Pretty much. None of them. Because I feel like everybody that I ever did anything with, ex or whatnot, I had to teach them shit. Yeah. And it's like, at this big grown age, how you don't know how to please me? It's kind of different for me because my ex, mm-hmm. we had each other's first. So Let me tell you something. I had sex with a bitch. With a what? Y'all can't keep talking. Oh. <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, I had this one girl I used to fuck with, and she used to fuck back. I'm telling you, it's like, it's something these females know, like, yeah. that the guys females, don't know. They know yeah. where the yeah. spot is at, and they know what to hit and keep going. The females, they Sometimes know they, they know the spot. Just to get they know. That's like what I'm saying. saying like, and let me tell you something. Once you want a scissor, I'm with it. You want a scissor? I'm with it. You want a rub coochie? Like, 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 you like, you trying to bump coochies? I'm trying to bump coochies with you, too, so let's just let's Remember just you was gay for a moment? I was. And you mom was about to kill a bitch over another I bitch. I was. You just nuts. I'm nuts. <laughs> I'm a sexual person. So, so you bisexual? That's the thing right now. Or Let me you... tell you something. I wouldn't say I'm bisexual. I can fuck with a bitch, but I don't want a relationship because I feel like I want that manly energy, and you're not going to be able to give me that. So it's like sometimes I want to be thrown around, like throw me around, choke me up. A female wants to be sore, and I'm not taking yeah. no strap. Be I don't right want back. the strap. I want the coochie. I don't want the strap. If I if I wanted the strap, I get a nigga to fuck me. You don't ever think you can take the strap? Nah, I don't want it. You see, I'm gonna say because I don't because I, like... I only have vibrators. I don't like straps. Don't do nothing to me. That's the thing. I want it. Had it. I don't want it. So you want to know? All right, so, so, I'm gonna no. say what I have to say. I but Diamond, like... Diamond, she she making it seem like she want to try the strap. Yeah. Me? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she making it seem like she right. <laughs> She's making it seem like she's trying to try to say, she's like, bitch, I can change your life. 
She's like, I can change your life. <laughs> She's like, I can change your life. He said, You sure you don't want to try to show? I don't know, do I? Hey, I don't know, do I? Sometimes guys can have. They can, they can mm-hmm. only last so and so, but they don't know how to use it. They don't. They like and hurting you. Like some females, they regardless, right. regardless of right. if you have a strap or not, a like, lot of females they know how to use it better than guys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you that's something. That that next situation will like get you. Mm-hmm. A lot of females, a lot of us dykes and shit, mm-hmm. we know how to use. I can't, than guy. and that's the thing too. I'm not attracted to dykes. I like me like a female female. Like I, mean, I like me a nice I like, body. Really a dyke. Yeah, I just really that word for no reason. Me, I don't put myself uh, as a dyke. Why? Well, you see, that's the thing because you don't. You don't I still really... count myself as a female. Uh huh. So. The only difference is I dress as a guy because I feel comfortable. In yeah. Guys, so that's the only thing. I, I feel like a dyke. A dyke is what, is dumb bitches who be cutting their hair. They be changing their voice. I went to my Netflix. Don't carry myself. Nah. I need me a classy bitch with a fat ass. All right. Let's go out with a bang. All right. Go out with a bang. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Corey. Happy birthday to you. Y'all know the remix? Happy birthday. No, I want to say happy.